yo yo people welcome back welcome back the next app i'm going to be looking at is called folder sync so i'm going to click on folder sync this is again going to be a link in the description i'm going to agree to terms uh, accept privacy policy these are all the permissions that you need to allow or to not allow i think i want notifications just because i need to know if something has started finished has an error when when i'm trying to copy stuff over then i click on finish it wants me to add an account i'm not going to do any of that uh just click ok on there so this is telling us at the bottom here that folder sync is also available on pc so you could have this running on your android phone on your laptop or pc or whatever the case is and backing everything up to your open media vault server if you're trying to keep your system fully backed up on your local system that might be a really nice way to do it bottom right hand corner i'm going to click on create folder pair this comes up i'm going to click in here and type the name this is going to be called folder sync test click next from here it's asking about the version of the sync engine i want to use i think version 2 just makes sense click next there we have three sync types here we have a two-way sync we have a two left folder and we have to right folder two-way sync what that will do is you can back up or copy from your mobile phone to open media vault but you can also go from open media vault to your mobile phone the next one is to left folder and to right folder these kind of do the same thing but it depends on which one is source and destination so what that means is you can set up the source folder being your mobile phone and it will copy everything in that folder to open media vault or you can set up your open media vault folder to be your source and it will copy everything from there to the phone but it will only be one way i'm going to do two ways just for the purpose of this video here so i'm going to click next all right left folder that's going to be in my mobile phone so i'm going to do sd card that's fine because even though i'm using a google pixel and it doesn't have an sd card it sees some apps will see storage as simply sd card this is the easiest way to do it i'm going to select folder i'm going to go to dcim and then i'm going to go to camera then then I'm going to click select. So that's my folder there selected for my left folder, for my source folder. This is where it's coming from. For my destination folder, I'm going to click on SD now, but I don't need to use SD because it needs to go to my SMB server. So click on add account, then scroll down. I'm going to look for SMB at the bottom here. Click on SMB there. On this page here, what worked for me, I didn't put in any login details, any IP addresses. All I did here was I put openmediavault.local and what that does, that actually goes ahead and looks for that specific server name if you have a different name other than open media vault obviously put the name of that but if you left the installation as default it should be open media vault dot local after i click on search i click on mini pc share because that's again that's the name of my open media vault server i've named it mini pc share because i'm using a mini pc for this when i start using a raspberry pi 5 it's going to be named raspberry pi 5 share it fills in all the details it needs i don't think i need to do anything else for this now when i come back to right folder i'm going to click on sd card again but this time it's going to have smb2 i'm going to click on that then i'm going to select folder it's going to come up with all the folders on the open media vault server for me i'm going to be using the folder i created earlier called 02 folder sync i'm going to click on that click select and i'm done once it comes back to this screen i'm going to click on next it's going to speak about creating a folder pair that's fine click save and that's it everything has been set up to sync now the way this works i only want to go from one direction to another so i don't technically need two-way i could just do to right folder because if you see on the left at the very bottom my left folder is my mobile phone because it says dcim then it says camera then my right folder is zero to folder sync on my open media vault server so i should really be using to right folder and then i can simply sync it so if i go back to my file explorer here if guy if i go to my open media vault folder go there mini pc share under zero to folder sync as you can see it says zero items at the moment i'm going to drag the top down just to fresh just to make sure it has zero items still has zero items i'm going to go back to this app here now folder sync then i'm going to try and sync this to see if it works so if i press play button there which is sync i'm going to it started syncing everything in that folder if i now go back to my file explorer i'm going to drag the top down again just to refresh and as you can see zero two folder sync now has four items drag the top down again let's see if it's added anymore it's still four that's probably okay because it's probably copying over videos so that's why it's taking a while but once that that's done it's gonna have all my videos all my pictures from my DCIM folder 
on my camera if i click on the thing the animated thing that says syncing if i click on that it also shows me a detailed breakdown of what's been copied how long it's going to take um the speeds and all of that stuff so this is pretty cool and you can click on sync queue as well to see exactly what is going to be copied over so you could probably set multiple things to happen plug your phone in have it do what it's doing and just go to bed the next thing i want to have a quick look at is the scheduling option so just like the previous app i tried i want to see if i can set this to start at a specific time i'm going to click schedule i'm going to call this one uh test like i always do then on the sync interval i'm going to choose let's say daily and the hour i wanted to start it's now 128 i'm going to put it to 130 so i'm going to go down to where it says 13 i'm going to put this to 30 i'm going to click save actually before i click on save i'm going to go to notifications and turn on show notification on sync success so if it's complete show me a notification show notification when changes occur Let's turn all of these on because i want to know what happens because more than likely i'm going to set this at midnight plug my phone in go to bed so i want to know if it's completed when i wake up the next morning i'm going to click on save here and and that should now be set. Perfect. So what I did before, I cancelled my sync, the one I, was, I started before, set this one to 1.30. And, and as you saw there, as soon as the clock changed from 1.29 to 1.30, syncing started again. So this is absolutely perfect. I can put my phone down, I can walk away. And if anything bad does happen, I'll get a notification saying this didn't complete. There was an error copying this, but everything is working perfectly fine. This is also a very, very good app. What I would say is a very uh, compared to SMB Sync 2, this is a much more clean design, but they, the features seem to be more or less exactly the same thing. So to be fair, I prefer the other one because the text is big and I'm blind, but this is a much cleaner app.